How are you doing today? That's George Headley, Hard Hat Biz Coach, here to talk about how to stop those continuous calls from your employees, your project managers, your superintendents, your foremen that drive you crazy all day long. Seems like nobody can make a decision without talking to you without talking to you first. They got to just keep calling and calling and calling. You know, what should I do? What should I do? So what's the problem here? What's causing this constant need for your approval or decisions? So when, when people call you to make their decision, the crew leader is supposed to be in charge of the crew. What's he doing? He's, he's asking you to solve his problem. He's asking you to find a solution and take responsibility for the outcome of the situation. He's transferring ownership from him to you because he doesn't want to make a decision. Why doesn't he want to make a decision? Number one, you may not let him make decisions. Number two, he just may not feel comfortable making decisions. So what is it? Is it you or is it him? And how can we wean our people off us from making all the decisions? How do we get him to stop calling you on a regular day-to-day, hour-by-hour basis regarding everything under the sun, all the stuff they should know, and I know you've showed them more, more than once. So what's the solution here? So let's talk a minute about delegation. And it's what I call monkey management. They keep trying to pass the monkey onto you. They keep trying to give you the problem. So delegation is achieving results through other people, through the people who work for you. You hire people to do the job that you want them to do so you don't have to do it. So you can do more important things like bid jobs, win work, meet with customers, whatever it might be. But when I keep taking decisions away from them, they are not held accountable. I am the only one accountable because I'm taking all their problems away from them. So I'm letting them let me make their decisions. I'm the problem. So I have to transfer decisions and responsibility to those on the other end of the phone. Why do you want to let go of control? Well, people really do want to be accountable and responsible. I don't know anybody who just doesn't, who's a slug and just wants to goof off and not be accountable for anything. Most people want to win, want to improve, want to get better, and want to do a good job. It also allows people to become the best they can be. If you're holding them down, they, they're they stuck at that level. And you're stuck at the level of what you can do with all these people relying on you to make all the decisions. So I want to leverage myself through my people to achieve better results grow, make more money, uh, finish jobs on time, all the things that I'm really responsible to do as a construction company owner, manager, leader, project manager, et cetera. So what do I have to do to have them bring me less problems? Managing people, crew leaders, superintendents, project managers, estimators is not about solving problems. It's not about being the big guy. It's not about doing their job. It's not about controlling them. It's not to go on the field and do their job for them. It's to encourage, motivate, and train and mentor them so they can do it better themselves. So when they bring me a problem, I can't solve it. I got to say, what's your solution? What's your solution? What do you think is the best way to solve this problem? Is it do this or this? Give me a couple ideas. What do you think we should do in this situation? Where do you think you could find the answer? Do you think you know how to do this? Are you willing to try it without me micromanaging and and explaining everything? So what happens is people bring you problems. They deliver you monkeys. So you become a monkey uh, trainer. You want the monkeys. You like the monkeys because you're solving their problems. It makes you feel bigger and better. I don't want to solve their problems. They're generally not big problems. So my goal is to get them to solve their own problems. So there's different levels of problems. The first level is who cares? Just take care of it and don't tell me what you did. I used to have a stamp. I'd stamp before email back in the old days, the ancient times of construction. uh, People drop stuff on my desk all day. And I would just stamp it, please handle it, and don't tell me what you did. Just take care of it. So the first level is it's so irrelevant. You're, You're a big boy, big girl. Take care of it. The second level is, well, maybe I need to be somewhat involved, but not really. So what do you think you ought to do? Okay, sounds good. Go do it. And don't tell me what you did. Just 
next week when I see you, just tell me how great the job's going. And then there's the level that might involve some financial responsibility or risk. You know, maybe it's a contractual issue. Maybe it's a payment issue. Maybe it's a, they want to change your subcontract. Maybe it's a, uh, should we do this work for free or not? So those require a little more discussion. And so the the, the solution for them is, is always the same, the process. So, so identify there's a monkey about ready to jump on your back and attack. And then talk about the solution. What do you think the solu- the best solution is? What's your solution? What are your alternatives? What other ideas do you have to find the answer to the problem rather than come in here and talk to me? So what would be a clear outcome for this decision? Well, the guy shows up. Okay, well, let's make sure that happens then, all right? So you're coaching through it, right? It, who owns this problem? Clarify who, who owns the monkey. I don't own the monkey. I'm not taking the monkey. You are the person responsible for the monkey, whatever it is. Get the job finished. The plumber won't show up. Whatever it is, I'm not going to call a plumber. You're, that's your job. I don't need you if I'm calling the plumber to tell the plumber to show up. And uh, so who owns the monkey? The monkey handler is who? The person with the problem. And who's responsible now to take care of the monkey? Uh, and so we got to define the next step. What do you think the next step or the next move ought to be. Well, we need to decide what to do. Okay, so that's great. So you as the monkey handler, what do you think the solutions are? Uh, uh, What do you think the choices are? Now, before we get there, we might have to talk about the level of authority. You know, anything over 500 bucks, just take care of it. If it's over a thousand, just come come and see me real quick and we'll we'll just double check, okay? Um, Or if it's a very complicated decision, uh, come up with your best solution and let's discuss it. But I'm not going to solve it for you. I'm going to trust you to make some good decisions. All right? And then set a deadline. When, when, when are you going to get this solved? What's the deadline to handle a monkey? Get it, get him off your back. Well, I think I can get it done by Tuesday. Okay, on Tuesday, I expect it to get done, okay? Now, if it's something that's a big deal, and I want to make sure that gets done, maybe it costs a lot of money, or maybe it's a negotiating point, I'll say, well, then come back and see me Tuesday and let me know what happened. Otherwise, I don't need to know. I trust you. Get it done, right? And then uh, deal with it. So go deal with the monkey. Solve the problem. Uh, Handle, take care of it, fix it, solve it. And if we have to, let's set a time when we can check back in if if need be. Nine out of ten times, there's there's not a need be. So then that'll you've got 90% of the problem solved now. Don't take those calls and solve the problem. You're the problem. The reason they're calling you is because you want to solve everybody's problems. Plus, you haven't given anybody any authority or the right to make a decision. So now, slightly different issue. You're sitting down with a, one of your, your team, one of your players, and you say, hey, I, I want you to make sure that you get this done by tomorrow. This is important. That's a big deal. Uh, make sure you get this done by tomorrow. So make sure you check back in with me. Now, nine out of 10 times again, they won't check back in with you. They really don't want to deal with you. So you have to put it on your list to check with them because they won't check with you, even though you ask them to check back with you by 10 o'clock tomorrow. Nine out of 10 times, they won't. So at 10 o'clock, you send them a text or you send them an email and said, hey, what happened? What's the solution? Don't let them off the hook. We got to solve the monkey. We got to figure out what to do with this monkey if it's super important to you. So when I have an assistant, a staff member who helps me every day, or maybe an estimator, and I say I need this done by tomorrow, uh, let me know, and I, I'm going to have to go check back in with them. So I have to take responsibility when I ask somebody to do something that they actually did it because they have a lot of priorities, and mine not might not be in their mind the top priority. Okay, so conclusion: What are you going to do to get the monkey off your back? What are you going to do to solve these problems and stop taking those calls from your project manager, your estimator, your bookkeeper, your superintendent, or your foreman? What are you going to do? So anyway, hopefully I gave you a couple good tips. If I can help you, give me a call. Email me down below. I'd love to set up a time to help you with your company, grow your business, coach you, whatever I can do for you. Visit hardhatbizcoach.com or email me gh at hardhatbizcoach.com and I'd love to help you. By the way, I've got some uh, new tools available on my website. I've got my entire uh, templates and tools available for purchase. 
at a really good price. All 100 tools, everything from setting up a job to uh, starting a job to a turnover meeting agenda, customer meeting agendas, uh, estimating templates, negotiating tools, selling tools, marketing tools, customer development tools, uh, building your business plan, et cetera, et cetera. So check it out. And if it works for you, fantastic. And if I can help you, give me a call. Thanks again. Stop taking those calls. Stop taking those calls, okay?